Well, new tonight, we're learning more about the Bernalillo County Sheriff's plan to clean up Central. The office announced just last week it's in phase two of its Central Corridor operation. Monica Legrono joins us with more on what exactly this phase entails, Monica. Julie, Tessa, BCSO is sending teams out to Route 66 to arrest anyone breaking the law and to provide resources to our community members in need. In fact, we went out with deputies today as they tackled yet another part of the avenue. We want to make sure that we're supplementing and making sure that we're addressing the problem. The Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office wants to clean up Central Avenue, but they know it's not going to be an overnight change. Earlier this week, they cleaned a part of Tennessee and Central, but today, here's what our crew saw in the same area. It's going to take a while. From Tramway to 98th Street, BCSO deputies will be there every week. Phone calls we're doing at least twice a week, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we're going uh, Route 66 in the Central Corridor is a very long area and a lot of business businesses and neighborhoods. Uh, we're making sure that we're hitting hot spots and hitting different areas of where we're seeing complaints that we saw doing phase one. Sheriff John Allen emphasized crime, homelessness and substance abuse has taken a toll on nearby businesses and the community as a whole, but says that doesn't mean a community member in need doesn't deserve compassion. We know that we're going to have to arrest people. That's just a, a given. Uh, but at the same time, uh, passion and respect. We need to make sure we have humanity. There are other people out there with uh, behavioral health issues, uh, also drug addiction issues, and some people that just don't have any housing. So we want to make sure that we're giving people the appropriate resources to succeed. The operation comes as the city of Albuquerque received an injunction from a judge over its treatment of homeless people. I mean, we were uh, made aware of the lawsuit that was going on. Uh, we want to make sure that not only we're showing com compassion, humility, also people's civil rights and their belongings. That's very important to us. That's just something that we have brought along in the office. But at the same time, we're sending out a harsh message also that if you're doing a crime, that we're going to arrest you and we're going to have to address it. BCSO is partnering with different services like CARE Campus, Albuquerque Community Safety, and the Homeless Hotline to provide resources for those who need it. We'll post those links with this article on KOB.com. Tessa, Julie, back to you. Monica, thanks so much.